Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and here we are at the final step of the Traxxas TRX4 Sport Kit build. Here I've got the body already painted and ready to go. And just for your information, the blue you see here is the Tamiya PS30 Brilliant Blue. This color you see used for the stripes is the Tamiya Gunmetal PS23. And the black portion right here is Tamiya PS5 Black. I also used plastic dip to cover the fender flares to give it that flat matte look. And you can see black was used to back the uh, the truck. There's actually a coat of white on top of the blue color and then black over that. For masking off parts of the body for paint, I used the Tamiya 5mm masking tape for curves. And I also used, you know, frog tape for uh, big area masking, and you can find this at Home Depot. I will put a link to all the paints and masking tape that I've used in the description below. And let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the build. For the final section of this build, you will need these following parts. For step H1, you'll need the following parts. You'll also need this part for step H1. Uh, before I proceed ahead, you're going to be using the, the right side mirror and you'll notice it has like a little R right there. and then completes step H1. For step H2, you'll need these following parts and you'll also need these. Now, I am missing one of these 2.5 by 8 screws from the kit. Luckily, I have an extra one from my G-Made GOM, so I'll be using one from my G-Made GOM, but unfortunately, I was missing a screw. You need a total of 8 of these types of screws for the step actually 10 you need a total of 10 and I only had 9 
And that completes step H2. For step H3, you'll need this hardware and you'll need these parts right here. Now, with these scale parts, I just did a quick Sharpie paint job. Um, it just bugged me that everything was monocolor. Here's the fire extinguisher. There you go. Just did a quick paint job on that. Not perfect, but just enough to not look like it's a toy piece, I guess. So you'll actually need this piece for step H3. Mixed it up with the right and the left. So this one's the left piece. I don't know if you can see the L in there. Right there. And that completes step H3. You'll need 
these four pieces for step H4 as well as this hardware. And that completes step H4. For step H5, you'll need the two previously completed parts, these two pieces right here, and 12 of these screws. And that completes step H5. Now I did run into an issue where I made a mistake on a previous step where we attached these rotopacks to the, the rack. Um, if you'll remember earlier, I attached these, which are 3 by 8 screws. Uh, I used these screws to attach the rotopack. Now in this step, I actually need four of these, and what I ended up with were two of these. Let's give you a better view here. Two of these, and two of these. So instead of using these for those roto packs, make sure you use the larger head ones. They're both three by eight, same length and same diameter as far as thread goes, but the head one head is much larger than the other. So let's go ahead and correct that now and proceed with step H6. All right, now we've got the rotor packs attached with the correct screws, and we move on to step H6, attaching the rack assembly onto the body. And for that, we'll need these following screws, three by eights and three by tens, right there. We'll also need these brackets Let's 
tailgate returner, uh, retainer here uses 3x8s. You'll be using the 3x10s for the sides. And the final two 3x8s go at the top of the cab. And that completes step H6, the installation of the expedition rack onto the body. You see how nicely it fits. And that also completes this part of the section. Uh, stay tuned in just a moment. I'll give you the full reveal with the body on the chassis. All right, guys, here's the final look at the completed Traxxas TRX4 Sport Kit build. And this is how it turned out. And with this, we come to the conclusion of my Traxxas TRX 4 Sport kit build. Uh, this has been a very wonderful build. I enjoyed it very much. You know, it's my first time building a Traxxas kit. Traxxas only has three official kits right now, but the Sport kit is the first Traxxas kit 
that I've built. The quality of the parts was excellent. The instructions were excellent. Some future upgrades that I do have planned, I probably plan to swap out the wheels with something else. I'm going to give these tires a shot and maybe do some mods to the tires as well, some siping. And the gearing, I might gear down a little bit. So we'll see. I'll give it a good run first in this form and we'll see where we go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this build series. Please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.